tonight on Practical Thursdays. How can we overcome insomnia? CBRC Kalooka. It is located at with these contact numbers. Are you having a problem falling asleep, staying asleep, or going back to sleep? I hate to break it to you, but no one is actually thinking of you. Chances are, you are suffering from insomnia. Insomnia is a sleep disorder which can be due to psychiatric and medical conditions, unhealthy sleep habits, effects of specific substances, and or certain biological factors. It can be either long-term or chronic, or it can be short-term or acute. It is characterized by these symptoms. Difficulty in falling asleep. Waking up often in the middle of your sleep cycle. Difficulty in going back to sleep. Having trouble staying asleep. Feeling tired upon waking up. We have two types of insomnia. Number one, primary insomnia. Primary insomnia is a type of insomnia which is physiologic and not related to any health condition. The regulation of your sleep-wake cycle is a big part of the primary insomnia. Number two, secondary insomnia. Secondary insomnia is a type of insomnia which is due to health conditions such as asthma, allergies, cancer, depression, heartburn, or due to the effects of medications and certain substances. Insomnia is usually associated with excessive drowsiness, lack of energy, anxiety, irritability, difficulty with accomplishing tasks, learning new skills, and remembering things. There are many possible causes of insomnia, but here are the most common ones. Disruptions in your circadian cycle. It can be due to jet lag, job shift changes, high altitudes, environmental noise, exposure to extreme temperature. Psychological issues. Conditions such as bipolar disorder, depression, anxiety disorders, or schizophrenia. Medical problems. Medical issues like chronic pain, chronic fatigue syndrome, congestive heart failure, angina, gastroesophageal reflux disease, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, asthma, sleep apnea, Parkinson's and Alzheimer's diseases, hyperthyroidism, arthritis, brain lesions, tumors, and stroke. Hormone shifts. Physiological factors. Factors such as exposure to excessive noise, parasites, pregnancy, and overactive mind. It may seem impossible to battle insomnia, but here are some of the common treatments for the disorder. Number one, practice good sleeping habits. This means sleeping early and rising up early. Number two, your doctor may prescribe sleeping pills to help you out in your sleep-wake pattern for a limited time. And remember, avoid using over-the-counter sleeping drugs because they may have undesired adverse effects and may lose effectiveness in the long run. Number three, avoid prolonged use of gadgets that give off light before going to sleep. Number four, exercise regularly, but do not exercise at least three to four hours before sleeping. Number five, if you find yourself waking up in the wee hours of the night, try listening to soothing music or try making a to-do list. These may help you not think about your mid-sleep worries. And number six, make your sleeping environment as comfortable as possible. Use dim lighting or a sleep mask and provide suitable ventilation with sleep triggering pillows and sheets. Did you know that women are more likely to have insomnia than men? And did you know that 35% of insomniacs have a family history of insomnia? Now that is your dose of a wake-up call. We ask so you may know. We feature so you may appreciate. We inform so you may decide. We balance so you may judge. I'm Joy Ziranara and this is CBRC News Live Practical Thursdays. Good evening.